The coronavirus pandemic has caused major disruptions to daily life with children feeling these changes deeply. And while some parents and students are excited at the possibility of returning to school, others are feeling anxious or afraid. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with mental health experts today on how parents can support both their own and their child's mental health in a time of uncertainty. Starting a new school year is already a stressful time, let alone during a global pandemic. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of worries. There's a lot of anxieties. And because most schools fall plans won't be finalized at least until the end of the month, another two weeks in limbo is adding extra stressors to both kids and parents. Some of those anxieties might be my kids aren't getting um, the best education that they could receive. I'm not qualified to be a teacher. Um, you know, now I'm going to work full time and I'm going to teach and I'm going to be a mom. Both Young Bauer and Richter say if that's the case in your family, it's important to have open conversations and healthy ways of dealing with your anxieties. Everybody feels things very differently and um, just really recognizing that it's okay to feel that way. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be stressed. Practice deep breathing and mindfulness exercises with them. There are all kinds of different apps for your phone that you can download different relaxation exercises that are fun for kids. What can we do right now to help you feel a little bit better? Adding it's not a bad thing to feel overwhelmed or anxious about these uncertain times. However, both Young Bauer and Richter stress the importance of staying far away from those what ifs and say to only tackle one problem at a time. When we start noticing that our mind is going down the rabbit hole, how do we stop that? How do we, how can we learn ways to just focus on this one thing that's right in front of us right now? In Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live.